Seven Guy throws a great. Fabulous ball, but a terrible break to start the match out with. Uh, actually only missing by just, just a fraction, but uh, winding up with a 3-7 uh, split. David, I noticed both players are playing the very extreme outside part of the lane, and it looks like if they get it out too far, it just doesn't want to come back. No. As I said, Elijah Freeman coming up here, uh, age 22, lives in the Avondale area. Throws a black pro hook or a green torque. This would be the pro hook. Throws it very well. You'll hear it thumping over the thumb hole in the last couple of revolutions. Now, some people, that drives them crazy, but quite frankly, if you can strike with it, don't let it bother you. It mm -hmm. just, just means that your, your weights in your ball are not quite perfect. I really don't believe in practice he was doing that, though, Dave, so maybe he just may be a little bit tense. Yeah, you can see the track one as well. He tracks very close and chops the spare. Both players starting off uh, with, uh, I think, t TV jitters, Jen. Well, and it's going to make the match even still. So they have plenty of time to get loose. Six seventy-seven. What a great score. As we said, first time on TV. High game 289, so we know he can throw some strikes. It's a nice. very good arm swing. Nice high back swing. Perfect oh, shot. Nice. Absolutely. That's the way you want to do it, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mike Adams. We've seen Mike before. Age 28, married to Bobby Joe, lives on Apple Tree Lane in Erlanger, Kentucky. Getting it wide. This time it's going to make a good comeback. Wow. The scout off the wall does half of its job, taking out the seven pin late. 704. Wow, boy, these are really some great scores for the 189 and under division. 277 is Mike's high game. Across the Look out. Fair. You can't do that. Ouch. Well, we say it all the time, whether it's king of bowling or whether it's open play or in your league or tournament, you just cannot miss single pin spares. We are at Hyde's Lanes this morning, and it really looks great. However, this is our Glenmore qualifier, Les Horseman, the owner over there. Great, great bowling family. You got that right. The Horsemans have been in the game for as long as I can remember, and as a matter of fact, that was my very first league ever was... Uh, uh, then it was called something else, but Glenmore Bowl. Taking very little time. Right hand lane. Throwing a great shot there. That was beautiful. Yes. I've never what, seen this guy bowl before, but he really throws it firm. And a proper selection of equipment. Watch his cup release right here at the bottom of the swing. Right there, he gets around the ball and threw it very strongly. End over end roll. One three pocket filled up. Ten in a pit. Every pin doing its job. That was perfect. Was as perfect as we could hope. Oop, that's why. Holy oh, cow. <laughs> oh, boy. Hi, Joe, I think he's discovered some area I'll out there. I'll tell you, if anything will get you loose, that'll do it right there. Throwing two great shots in a row. Mike's going to have to get on track right now. That's more better. All right. Shake some out. My poor English teacher, she'd roll over if she could hear me today. Watch this from the floor, folks. What a great shot. Around the ball, good rotation on it. Head pin, center your screen, going to go to the right-hand side. There it goes, comes off the wall and does, does about a uh, double flip and goes over the top, but all of the pins are down. Looks good again. Wow, we have a great match going on here. And great. He Great. We also have some very special guests today that we're going to get to here in a little bit. I'd like to even get a small interview with him if I could. Jeff Weiler brought out his lovely daughter today. Let's see if we can't check them out. Maybe we can find out about some of those great deals he's got going on right. out there at the Eastgate Auto Mall. There you go. They're going to discuss the bowling shot here. Jeff, of course, you've seen him on many, many car commercials and uh, running the mall that he has. We've uh, several of the crew.
gone out and visited with him, and uh, he treats us no differently than, than he does the rest of the public, and we came away with some fabulous deals. You betcha. My little brother, Chris Hoinke, went out and got a Mitsubishi from him, and today he's brought out a Mazda 626, and it is really hot. Is that what's on the line for a 300? Yes. So. <laughs> Give me my shoes. You're right. That one's going wide, but he got it in the oil early. Mm -hmm. And not getting the desired result to get back. Elijah started bowling at the age of five. Boy, that is really young. What a great story, starting out at five. He's only 22. And he's so poised. He looks cool going after this four-pin spare. Conversion, and he makes it kind of an off-the-wall way, Then We'll be right back after a couple of words from our sponsors. Don't you? Wow, we have a great match going on here. Elijah Freeman is ahead by eight pins over Mike Adams. We are at Hyde's Lanes, and we have some really great scoring units, AMF AccuScore here. Chris Lacita's shown us how to do it. It's really pretty simple. I Look at that. Isn't that neat? <laughs> It's actually easier than programming your VCR. Well, anything's uh, easier than that. <laughs> <laughs> it's that 12 o'clock that keeps on flashing. Yeah. It's really starting to get to yeah. me. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll have one of the technicians come over and straighten that out for you. A mixing strike, but that's actually the shot that's been uh, keeping him in the match. Um, Hit him light, let him fight, and all that good stuff. But uh, it comes down to trust is a must, Jen. Hey, Mike Adams got four in a row, so Elijah Freeman better get going here because Mike is on fire. Fire, baby, on fire. Look out. Oh, it kicked out to seven. I thought it got in the oil early, but it whacked that seven right out of there, and he is on a roll. That's kind of neat. The AMF scorers say he's got a five-bagger. <laughs> Watch this if you can real quickly. The left side of your screen, you're going to see the seven pin go out late. Right there, nudges it out. Elijah going high that time. High, but breaking down the split, Jen, leaving only the uh, 610 to bring back. But you know, last night, or uh, Thursday night league, I chopped this twice. I can't remember where I've chopped it twice in the same year. But, is that right? Uh, chopping the six off of the ten is possible. Not that way, though. Not if you cover both the pins with the ball. Piece of cake. Yeah, you say that now. I wish you would have been there Thursday. <laughs> Match number one, Mike Adams taking control of this match with three frames to go. 18 pins. We've got a few frames to go yet. Three to be exact. That's wide, but it looks like it might come back. Go this way. <laughs> you know, that proves, David, uh, that really the pins are actually 12 inches apart. And when you think it's going to hit it, it's really further back there, that sleeper is, than you think. Watch it here. The head pin goes to the wall, comes back, does a little mixing action, and that's the eight pin coming at you, but See that? just missing. Yes. That always does amaze me. How far those pins really are apart. When you talk about chopping it, you can see why it's possible. Absolutely. If you have an opportunity to go to your local BPA center and ask them, maybe they'll take you down there and check out the back of the lanes. It's really pretty neat. A lot goes on back there, and we've got some uh, tape in the truck of some uh, shots where we set one of our cameramen where no cameraman has ever <laughs> gone before. Oh boy, what a beautiful girl. Julie Bristow, the oldest of Jeff Weiler's four children. Do you think she drove the Mazda 626 out this morning? Well, if she did, I and we give it away, I volunteer to drive her home. <laughs> Julie is married. That is Julie Bristow, Dave. I, as I, are you. Just being a gentleman. That's <laughs> she is beautiful. Oh, boy, bad break there. Wow. Unbelievable. What a scout. <laughs> but the Helen Keller scout. That's all right. right. <laughs> Watch this, folks. Head pin's going to go to the right-hand side of your screen right here. Comes off the wall, comes shooting across like a missile, and misses the seven pin. Mike using that hard surface ball to go across alley at the spare. Dave, I understand that ball is actually 12 pounds, and he throws a 16-pounder for his strike ball. Say what? 12 pounds. A plastic 12, ball a for cross alley spares. Well, that's interesting. I've got to... Uh, I better go down there and start checking the equipment in between frames. Oh, a great now, shot, now, but a now, now. lousy break on the 10. 
Good yeah. shot. I'll tell you, Elijah really has a pretty loose um, arm swing, and I'd venture to say that he's going to, just being age 22, get much better in the looks, years to come. He looks real good to me, and a, and a good roll on the ball. What's his average, Jen? Oh, I don't know, about 188? Somewhere, yeah, 184. 184? Well, okay. That average can be improved upon easily if he gets out in practice, but you've got to make the single pin spares. I want to stress it to everyone at home. When you go bowling and you're practicing, yes, it's fun to throw strikes. Do not hit the reset button. Really? You're paying for it. You might as well practice every spare you leave. Much better shot, oh, and, and still... Oh, another 10-pin. Weedo, well, you talk about missing the single-pin spares. I can assure you Elijah did not miss too many when he shot 677 to qualify to make it here to TV today. He absolutely needed this to stay in the match. The six-pin, the culprit going around the 10, and uh, you cannot fault him. He threw the ball right where it had to be. And he brings this one back. He wanted to prove to us that he knows how to make the 10-pin. With a strike in the fill ball, he can go 187 already. 187 is posted in the eighth frame for his competitor. So this match is over, and we're going to watch the last shot here. And then we're going to go to station break and get back into game number two. Fantastic match. Everybody, you watched it. Good-looking games, and we'll be back.